So now in this video, we're going to make another really easy circuit with the op amp. So we're going to make a current source. We're going to be able to set a current through a load based on the amount of resistance we use and the voltage that we give in. So when the op amp has a negative feedback, we're going to use a single supply so we can have uh, just a single DC supply here. But uh, the uh, output here will raise or lower the voltage at the inverting input as needed to get the same voltage as the non-inverting input. And since that point also now heads to a ground here, holding that uh, voltage in there, will put the uh, voltage across the resistor. And current will flow through the load and the resistor as needed to uh, hold that voltage. So ultimately the amount of current that will flow will depend on the value of the resistor. We're going to use a 1 kilo ohm resistor so we're going to get about 1 milliamp of current per volt. So if we set the 5 volts there we'll get about uh, 5 milliamps of current through here. So hopefully that all made sense but in any case let's build it and take a look at it. So we're going to use the LM358 and as you can see here, the uh, output is the uh, top pin. We're just going to use this op amp. We're not going to use that one. There's two op amps within this integrated circuit. So output's on top and then inverting. we got to pay close attention to that. And then non-inverting right below it. we got to pay close attention because on the schematic, we have the non-inverting above the inverting. So I already have, though, a, a trim pot on the board at the non-inverting input so third pin down right there and uh, so our voltage divider we can set anywhere from uh, 0 volts up to the supply voltage we're going to use 12 volts in this video so all we have to do now is we will take as a load an LED and so remember the output is the top pin and then the inverting pin is second pin down so output is pin number one and then the inverting input is pin number two right there and then we'll grab our one kilo ohm resistor right here and I put that from the inverting input to this jumper here that goes to the negative rail and that's literally all we have to do so now we will grab the uh, power supply and do a We'll also grab the uh, multimeter coming up. But uh, first, we'll look at the uh, power supply. So we can go all the way down to uh, zero volts at the non inverting input, and you can see there's zero current flowing. Now, the integrated circuit does need a little bit of current and whatnot. A little bit of current trickles through the uh, trim pot, and so this is the uh, total current. We'll get a more accurate reading with the multimeter coming up. But in any case, we got 12 volts. So if we go halfway, since we're using a one kilo ohm resistor, we can expect about a six milliamps of current. Again, we got a little extra going through the trim putt, a little extra going through the integrated circuit. So it's not surprising that we got seven there instead of six. Plus this isn't completely accurate. It's usually one or two milliamps off, but, uh, but it's close enough. Also, we can't get the uh, 12 milliamps because this doesn't output completely to the uh, positive rail. So it looks like we may even be losing a few volts at uh, this point. But we'd have to get the oscilloscope to a check for sure. But in any case, we're going to set it about halfway. This is the quick video series. And so we're not going to go through all the details, but we'll grab the multimeter next and get more accurate readings. So we got the uh, multimeter set to measure uh, voltage and we can first look at the supply voltage to see that it is uh, 12 volts. It'll probably be a spec below right there because we lose a little bit of voltage with the uh, resistance of the wires and whatnot. Now we're going to go to the output of the trim pot and there you can see we actually got pretty close to uh, 6 uh, volts right there. So a little less than 6.1. Now we're going to measure across the resistor. So. I'll actually bend it this way. We'll zoom in a little closer so that uh, we can see it. Hopefully none of this gets cut off. In fact, I can just move the meter over a little bit. There we go. And uh, so now we'll go back to uh, measuring the uh, trim pot output right there. 
So about uh, 6 point, uh, a little less than 6.1. But uh, we got the exact same voltage right there. Now, and so this is a 1 kilo ohm resistor. We can expect about uh, 6.07 milliamps of uh, current. And we will measure the uh, current right there, milliamps. This meter, you don't have to move the red probe from voltage measuring milliamps you do for higher current though. So other meters, you may have to move that, be aware of that. So what we're gonna do is just short the LED right here. And uh, so all the current will go through the meter because the LED will be dropping about uh, 1.5 volts and the meter is a short circuit. That'll drop it to zero volts. It'll be as if the LED does not exist. And uh, there you can see, we got uh, 6.58, so it's a little higher than I expected. And I don't remember the number, so let's do that again. We got uh, 6.57, and let's go back to uh, measuring the voltage across the resistor because it is setting the uh, current, and uh, 6.075. So it's a bit lower, but also, I noticed here, I didn't do the math, but I'm going to set the meter to measure the resistance right there and pop the uh, resistor out. So there may be other factors in play here, but one of the things is, is that uh, according to the meter, this is a, a little bit less than uh, one kilo ohm right there, 1,000 ohms. So it's about uh, 0.98. So a little less resistance will result in a little bit uh, more current. And so I could do the math to see if that lines up perfectly. But in uh, any case, it doesn't really matter. We got uh, generally about the current that we set based on the voltage. So it's the quick video series. Not going to go and do it too much. I'm going to end it there. Make sure you check out one of the other videos. Click like, subscribe, the bell. Check out the Patreon link. I'll try to remember to put it in there. Always make sure you turn off the uh, multimeter. And uh, especially don't keep it where it's measuring current if it doesn't have an off button. Get it to where it's measuring voltage. So you don't accidentally measure the current to something that uh, gives more current than you can measure. I'll see you in the next video.